I'm Sharice Nicole with C. Nikki Tech. And you're watching CNikki.com. And you're watching CNikki.com. And you're watching CNikki.com. And you're watching CNikki.com. Right. And you're watching CNikki.com. And you are watching CNikki.com. I'm Sharice Nicole with CNikki.com. And I am so blessed today Woo-hoo. to be in the presence of greatness. Um, I'm talking about. Pastor John. Bless your heart. Yes, Pastor John and his beautiful wife. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. So we got an extra extra shout from the congregation on that one, oh, so which was deserved. His beautiful wife, Aventer. I'm saying it right. Aventer, yeah, Avent, yes. Aventer. Yes, I have it right. Um, they have a wonderful show that is now going to be on OWN starting on April 15th. I saw a clip of it. Oh, actually, I saw the first full episode and it is amazing it is amazing i am so inspired by what it is that you all are doing um tell me what what one what made you want to bring this um to everybody on own i think for us it was an opportunity to have faith and humanity collide Mm -hmm. it's the intersection of faith and humanity and what it produces is hope um my wife and i talked about this vehicle when it was presented to us we did not pursue it we weren't looking for it but when it came to us, we said this could be an opportunity for people to see something real. Mm-hmm. And I think we said that because we were looking for something real. There's a lot of times when you're in the faith community that you don't see uh, people sharing their flaws and their scars. And how are people going to really heal? And how will people know that you can get to a place of wholeness from brokenness if somebody doesn't show you? Well, you know, um, the way I was actually introduced to you all, because, um, you know, he's a pastor at a pastor at Lakewood, um, Pastor Joel Osteen, who I never miss a Sunday, Joel. And I said, and I, I'm letting you know, Joel, I, when I get the envelopes in the mail to tithe, I'm tithing, Joel. You just hand it to me. Listen. I'll be, there, I'll be there next week. Just hand it to me. Listen, listen. That's terrible. I'm tithing. I'm tithing. But um, actually, what's interesting is there a friend of mine. Her name is Megan James. She was on Bad Girls Club and Basketball Wives. We went to brunch one day, and she's from Houston. Yes. And she said, girl, you got to hear my pastor. Oh, my God. This sermon, he spoke to me. She's like, I'm going to send it to you when we get home. And so she did. And that was actually the first time I'd ever heard you preach. Wow. And this was about uh, a year and a half ago, a year and a half ago. And I was like, oh, okay, listen. So when I got the, the email from Owen, I said, I know who that is because of, because of Megan. And the reason I wanted to share that is because she was on Bad Girls Club and she was on Basketball Wives, which has a stigma. Rea- the reality show and, you know, the, fa- the fighting and the cattiness. But someone that has that past is so drawn to you and, co- and connected to what you're doing. Um, really, really speaks to, you know, how you speak to everyone. You know what I mean? I I think, babe, you want to talk about who comes on Wednesdays? Because my wife has a great perspective. She's in the audience. Mm -hmm. And she'll tell you that that's my heart, that no matter what your background is or what you're walking through, you're able and welcome to come. Mm -hmm. Tell them, boo. Mm, Tell them, boo. (laughs) No, I just really feel like his message is, is such that um, one that anybody, whatever they're doing, it doesn't matter where they're doing it, how they're doing it, (laughs) um, can grasp a hold of the word and apply it and and understand it. The way he um, delivers it is a unique gift from God and he utilizes it to the the most, the best of his ability, Mm. should I say. Um, I feel like no matter where you are in life, if you're seasoned, if you're new to Christianity, if you're um, interested, trying to figure it all out, that the way my husband uses um, his practicality, his comedy, his his um, transparency and realness is a draw and is a bait to people who would turn away from the church from things that they've been uh, used to or experienced before because his way of of allowing um, people to engage him and him to engage people through the gift that God has given him is very unique. Yes. Now, the last thing um, that's really important to me 
um, t for you guys to speak on uh, what does John Gray say, as I should say, I need to know. Um, a lot of my followers, uh, the people that watch my interviews, are extremely um, judgmental when it comes to whenever I do um, anything that has pertains to religion. When I'm with Mary Mary or, you know, Erica Campbell or T.D. Jakes, the comment section is on fire. Like, people are condemning people to hell and say this the, the opinions are so strong when it comes to uh religion and christianity and um you know i've had people say people are going to burn in hell because they listen to gospel rap and are be oh, yeah. because of um uh homosexuality um the opinions are so strong so will you let people know um your your perspective on being open to God and God being an accepting God of all things and all people, um, I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on that. Well, I, I, first of all, my opinion doesn't matter. The word is what matters. Uh, as a pastor, my, what I think about a, a subject is inconsequential. Um, I don't get the right to redirect scripture to fit my social construct. But the scripture is very clear. For God so loved the world not the saints, not the church people, not the cool people, but the world, the broken, the lost, the hurting, the prostitutes, the lepers, those who conservative Christian theologians would like to throw away. He gave his only begotten son. And so the idea that God has favorites is a lie. Let's get that out of the way. We're all the same and we're all loved by God equally. And I don't, suffer anyone who says opposite of that now for those who are believers this is very important if you are a believer I believe the Bible so the Bible is my foundation for how I choose to live I do not get to impute my views about my faith onto someone who does not believe so that's the problem with the church they're answering questions nobody asked if you didn't if I didn't invite you into my house don't come talking to me but if we're having a conversation, then I can share. But until then, the church should probably do a lot more loving and a lot less judging. So I'm I'm done with it. I'm done with it. Yes. Drop the, drop the, drop the mic. Say amen. 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 Yes. I agreed. That's it. Yes, that's it. Well, thank you guys thank so you very much. Very Congratulations nice. on your show. I can't be more proud of what you're doing. Please continue to do that and continue to bless others. And you guys, please make sure that you watch every Saturday night on OWN. And go those YouTube clips, too, and make sure you catch them, catch them up. April 15th, 10, 10 p.m., April 15th. 10 p.m., Eastern, yes. Central. Yes, and check out Pastor Joel Osteen as well. He's doing his thing, so we love you guys. Right. Yeah, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Hi, I'm Pastor John Gray. And I am Aventer Gray. And you are locked in to cnikki.com. Make sure you lock in to the Book of John Gray, April 15th, 10, on, own. on OWN, 10 p.m. Eastern, 9 p.m. Central.